here we have a question if the perpendicular bisector of the line segment joining the point p 1 comma 4 and q k comma 3 has y intercept equal to minus 4 then a value of k is given points are p of p is 1 comma 4 and q is k comma 3 slope of pq is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 so we get the slope of pq to be minus 1 by k minus 1 slope of the perpendicular line to m1 is m2 is equal to k minus 1 because m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1 now let us find the midpoint of pq which is k plus 1 by 2 comma 7 by 2 it's given that the perpendicular bisector of the line segment joining p and q has y intercept equal to minus 4 so the perpendicular line passes through the midpoint k plus 1 by 2 comma 7 by 2 the required equation of the line is y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 so this is the equation y minus 7 by 2 is equal to k minus 1 into x minus k plus 1 divided by 2 given that the perpendicular bisector has y intercept at minus 4 so the point x is equal to 0 and y is equal to minus 4 lies on this equation substituting we get k square minus 1 is equal to 15 so k square is equal so k is equal to plus or minus 4 hence option b is the answer for this question the next question is if lambda x square minus 5x y plus 6y square plus x minus 3y is equal to 0 represents a bar of straight line then their point of intersection is the options are a 1 comma 3 b is minus 1 comma minus 3 and 3 comma 1 and minus 3 comma minus 1 the given equation is lambda x square minus 5xy plus 6y square plus x minus 3y is equal to 0 comparing it with the general equation ax square plus 2hxy plus by square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0 we get a is lambda h is minus 5 by 2 b is 6 g is 1 by 2 f is minus 3 by 2 and c is 0 the condition for straight lines is abc plus 2fgh minus af square minus bg square minus ch square is equal to 0 substituting the values of a h b g f and c we get lambda is equal to 1 we get x square minus 5xy plus 6y square plus x minus 3y is equal to 0 and let us now factorize we get x minus 3y into x minus 2y plus 1 is equal to 0 so x minus 3y is equal to 0 and x minus 2y plus 1 is equal to 0 are the equations solving these two equations we get x is equal to minus 3 and y is equal to minus 1 the point of intersection of the pair of straight lines x square minus 5xy plus 6y square plus x minus 3y is equal to 0 is minus 3 comma minus 1 hence option d is the answer now let's discuss the third question of this session a triangle ABC has vertices A minus 1 comma 7, B minus 7 comma 1 and C 5 comma minus 5. Then its ortho center has coordinates. So option A is minus 3 comma 3, option B is minus 3 by 5 comma 3 by 5 and option C is 3 by 5 comma minus 3 by 5 and option D is 3 comma minus 3. Let AD be the perpendicular line drawn from the vertex A and 
BE is the perpendicular drawn from the vertex B to the side AC. So which implies H is the ortho center of this triangle ABC. Let H of X comma Y be the ortho center. Then AD is perpendicular to BC. So product of the slopes is minus 1. So slope of AD into slope of BC will give you minus 1. From which we get the equation 2x minus y plus 9 is equal to 0. Similarly, BH is perpendicular to AC. So product of the slopes is minus 1. So slope of BH into slope of AC is equal to minus 1 which gives the equation x minus 2y plus 9 is equal to so solving these two equations 1 and 2 we get x is equal to minus 3 comma 3 hence option A is the answer we are going to discuss here is for A greater than B greater than C greater than 0 the distance between 1 comma 1 and the point of intersection of the lines ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 and bx plus ay plus c is equal to 0 is less than 2 root 2. Then a plus b minus c is greater than 0. a minus b plus c is less than 0. a plus b minus c is less than 0 and none of these. The point of intersection of the line ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 and bx plus ay plus c is equal to 0 is minus c by a plus b comma minus c by a plus b. It's given that the distance between 1 comma 1 and the point of intersection of these two lines is less than 2 root 2. So a plus b plus c the whole divided by a plus b root 2 is less than 2 root 2. So solving the equation we get a plus b minus c is greater than 0. Hence option A is the answer. Now let us discuss the next question. If the equation 12x square plus 7xy minus py square minus 18x plus qy plus 6 is equal to 0 represents a pair of perpendicular straight lines then p is equal to 12 and q is equal to 1. p is equal to 1 and q is equal to 12 p is equal to minus 1 and q is equal to 12 or p is equal to 1 and q is equal to given equation is this and comparing with the general equation we get a is equal to 12 b is equal to minus p h is equal to 7 by 2 g is equal to minus 9 f is equal to q by 2 c is equal to 6 we know that the condition for a pair of straight line to be perpendicular is a plus b is equal to 0. So 12 minus p is equal to 0 which implies p is equal to 2. The condition that the given line represents a pair of straight lines substituting the respective values of a, b, c, f, g, h we get this equation. We already Solve for P which is equal to 12. Put P is equal to 12 in the above equation. Solving the above equation we get Q is equal to 1 or Q is equal to minus 23 by 2. Hence the option A is the answer. P is equal to 12 and Q is equal to 1 is the answer.